Never has our next guest ever been on Pix 11 Morning News before, but that's about to change. You know Miss Paxton from Netflix, this Never Have I Ever, executive produced by Mindy Kaling herself. Here's a quick look at season two, which just dropped a couple of weeks ago. Fine. Okay, I, I will take you on a real date. It's too late now. And besides, I'm moving to India. You're moving to India? Like, forever? Yeah, like in a month. I guess we'll have to make this time count. Okay, that's Baxter Yacht Hall, Yoshida, making moves. And joining us now is the guy who has millions and millions and millions of people signing on for Team Paxton. Please welcome Darren Barnett! Hey, guys. How you doing? Okay, I have to tell you something, Darren. First of all, this hasn't happened since Reggae Jean Page was on this show. All the women in this building, all of a sudden, know my name. <laughs> Never have I ever had so many women sending me messages about Darren showing up on the show. And this only happened when Bridgerton was like, you know, the thing on Netflix. Now we're here talking about your show. Well, I, I want to tell you, never have I ever been on PIX11, but never have I ever been on a live news show before ever. So we would, we this could, is a first. <laughs> We're, we're, we're so happy that we're your, your first morning news show. And we're going to be seeing more and more of you because you are just incredible. You play Paxton so well that you have Thank the you. world divided. It's Team Paxton, Team Ben. Now there's Baxton because you and Jaren, you're Darren, he's Jaren, <laughs> you get along. So there's, there's a Baxton going on now. It's a love triangle this season. Most definitely. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, I don't even know if it's a love triangle anymore. The, the, don't the tell shape them. has become... Yeah, it's become something totally different now. Um, everything from season one that you loved and adored, I think is it's definitely still there. It's just all lit on fire. And there's a lot going on between the love triangle and just the new characters introduced. It's um, it's everything I wanted it to be, and it's, it's been a blast. Oh, my gosh. You, Pax, it's, seriously, I went to an all-girls high school, and I was like, seriously, if I, I, I want to go back to high school. I didn't even like school that much. Like that much. I was good at it, but I didn't really like being there. You know what I mean? But I, I get I, it. What I have to say about Paxton is that there's something about him being so real. Like he shows us how vulnerable he is, and you do such a good job at it. We're talking about how this is perfect casting. We cannot imagine anyone else playing this role but you. So talk to us about some of the transformation that we get to see this season. Don't give anything away because some people still haven't seen it. Although a gazillion of us have seen it, but don't give so much away. Um, you know, season one, there's very much, I think, a superficiality about Paxton that makes him appealing as a character. Um, but Mindy even said upon me doing the character that she wanted, you know, him to have layers, but to be subtly pulled back. And end of season one, I think you get to see some of that. And season two, you really start to see the arc of Paxton start to form. Uh, you get a little bit of more of an more of a understanding of his home life, his Japanese heritage, which I'm very proud to portray on screen. It's been absolutely just just an honor. Um, and yeah, he is part of this this insane lava hot love triangle that uh, Davey is trying to decipher through. And all of that action is packed into season two. All right, can I, okay, so this morning, because apparently like since yesterday, everyone's been talking about you, about Paxton, about, which no one's complaining about, but our producer, Katie, who's producing the show right now, she said to me, she's like, I wish I had a show like this growing up. That means, that's like the best review. I Like she said, I wish I had a show like this growing up as a teen. So, and, and it's because it's so inclusive. You know, you get to see mm -hmm. uh, whoever you are, whatever your background is, you get to see a piece of you on that screen as you're watching. And it has to do a lot mm -hmm. with Mindy Kaling being a part of this. So talk to us about working with her. And like you said, being able to show Paxton's Japanese heritage because we get to see that yeah. even in this season with his grandfather getting involved. She is an absolute dream to work with because, you know, you, you get on a set of that caliber and you think everything is set in stone. This is how they run things. They're, they're professionals. They got this. Mindy is so open to collaboration and ideas from everyone on set. And sometimes she lets you run with them. And something, a testimony to Mindy and just the entire creative team is that my character, Paxton Hoyoshida, being Japanese was somewhat of a fluke, I would say. And I was speaking in Japanese with our, our AD mm -hmm. at the time. Her name's yeah. Yuko. Mindy caught wind of it, I think, through Sal Perez, our wardrobe designer. 
her and Lang Fisher came up to me and were like, were you speaking in Japanese? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, were, are you part Japanese? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, well, do you mind if we make your character match your ethnicity and, and portray that as well? That's where the hyphenated Yoshida came from and the entire storyline of him being Japanese. So yeah, just testimony to Mindy that she, if she sees something, it's not like, oh, what's written on the page is it. She will run with a lot. And uh, I think that that's what makes her a great artist. All right, so how, how, do, how do we say in Japanese, this is the best day ever? Uh, you know what? I'm not fully fluent. Make but, it up. Uh, I wouldn't know the difference. You could say oh, I know, right? What do you know, know right? in Japanese? <laughs> uh, I, know, I know basics. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, uh, It's, hi, my name's Darren. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Sumimasen, excuse me. I know, I know very basic things to get me through. If I were like lost at like a train station or something. Oh, see, so you're like, you're pretty yeah. So it's a great day. Yeah, you just said it. So your your life is great. <laughs> Our day has been made. There are people in yes. my ear excited that you're here. I'm, I've made some so many new best friends at this point because of you. And let me just say, I feel like you're living the dream because you are playing this role, but you're not playing it. Like we believe you are Paxton. You know, so or, so what is the dream, Darren Barnett? Like, what is like, what's your goal? Because you the dream, are just, the dream is just to uh -huh. it's just to keep compel to keep telling compelling stories. Um, I love what I do very, very much. And I love playing Paxton. I love playing roles like that that bring so much joy. But, um, you know, I also I would love to do a movie where people are like they totally forget it's me and I get to transform and really you know, hone in on my skills and everything else I have to offer as an artist as well. And that's what I love about acting. It's it's the one career to me that was just limitless in terms of where I could go with it. So, oh, you already accomplished it because we don't see Darren. We see ba 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 Paxton. We don't <laughs> even like I didn't. I had to check to make sure you were not playing yourself that this was on the docu series. Darren Burnett, such a pleasure <laughs> to meet you. Bring the rest of the team next time. Never have I ever season two is streaming now on Netflix. Check it out. You will not regret it. Nice to meet you, Darren. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much for having me. Anytime. Come back soon. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. I mean, uh, right? as though his aesthetics weren't enough, then he's conscientious. Yep. Mm -hmm. And all that and speaks stuff. Japanese. Hot dang. Yeah, he, I, I believe he spoke it. He did it in season one. Congrats. Yeah. I wanted him to teach right. me the shirt the, rip off. The one, <laughs> the the one no. move. The one arm. Yeah. It's something get, you're born with, Dan. Do you break the shirt? No, no, no. just pulling so it over he, your head? He, and... like, walked in the room, and he, and he grabbed it from the bottom, and he just, I have chicken on my leg. <laughs> um, and he just kind of went over, like, one swoop, oh, I pulled it over his head. I did. Let's leave that to Paxton. <clears throat>